I'm James from Bike Lock Wiki, and in this video we'll attempt to destroy the Kryptonite New York Standard and the Via Velo Elite to uncover the strengths and weaknesses of either lock. We start off our testing with a drop test, dropping each lock 10 times from shoulder height to simulate the knocks and drops a bike lock receives over its lifetime. The Kryptonite New York's cover broke during this test and had to be removed from the lock before I could use it again, but apart from this, no other damage to speak of really. The Via Velo Elite showed light marking to its outer plastic housing and some splits in the shackle sleeve. No real damage overall and worked fine afterwards. Next we move on to a torsion test to find out how well a lock resists twist and hydraulic attacks. Locks with weak shackles, locking systems or those that are single bolted are vulnerable to this method of attack, so I got to work with a metre long wrecking bar trying to pry both locks open. The New York Standard showed hardly any play in the shackle and despite using my full body weight, 95 kilos, for leverage, I couldn't get it to budge. The Via Velo was also very resistant to this attack type, but did have a bit more flex in its shackle, which is slightly thinner than the New York's. Still, both locks resisted this test with ease, on to the hammer test next. Hammer testing gives us a good understanding of the strength of a lock's internal mechanism housing. 10 firm blows to either lock using a lump hammer and an anvil. The Via Velo lost a few pieces of its external plastic housing, whilst the rubber casing on the outside of the Kryptonite New York standard split, and its keyhole cover blew off on one of the last strikes. Surprisingly, both locks continue to work as they should, proving they both provide good protection against blunt impact attacks. 42 inch bolt cutters are always exciting to use, as these are the biggest readily available bolt cutters on the market. 16mm bike lock shackles are commonly considered bolt cutter proof, so I wasn't expecting much to happen to the 15.9mm shackle of the New York Standard, and it didn't. After struggling for over a minute and a half, I'd hardly inflicted any damage, so I took the L and moved on. An easy pass here. The Via Velo Elite shackle is 13mm thick, but its square shape means that it puts more metal in the way of your bike than a circular shackle with a 13mm diameter. Despite being nearly 3mm thinner, the Elite shackle resisted my cropping attempts very well and beat me black and blue when it ejected from the jaws of the cutters, giving my knee and the concrete floor a nice bonding session. Didn't hurt one bit. The Via Velo Elite Sold Secure Diamond rating makes it suitable for use with e-bikes, and if securing one, it is more likely to be targeted by angle grinder attacks, so it's only right that we analyse its performance against a grinder. This time we're cutting away from the vice in closer to real world conditions. I also wanted to test the anti-rotation features of either lock at this stage, so I cut both locks at the top of the shackle to see how wide I could open them and if I could remove them from the bike rack, which is 4.8mm thick. With both locks cut, I wasn't able to remove either from the bike rack. The Kryptonite New York Standard hardly had any play in its shackle and there was no chance of shifting it. The Via Velo Elite had slightly more play but resisted being opened wide enough to remove it from the rack. Some bikes with the skinnier frame tubing may have been removable here, but remember, power tools were required to get to this stage. Carrying on with the grinder test, we cut either lock a further four times to establish average resistance to grinder attacks. The Kryptonite New York Standard and its chunky 15.9mm shackle gave an average cutting time of 28.43 seconds over the five cuts. Impressive resistance and would require two cuts before a bike could be removed. The Via Velo Elite and its 13mm shackle gave an average cutting time of 20.46 seconds, quicker to cut than the New York Standard and attributable to its thinner shackle, but still a respectable time and two cuts would likely be required to remove a bike, especially when you feel the lock shackle when locking up. Great overall performance during testing from both locks, both displaying strengths and weaknesses, but nothing unexpected. Now cyclists don't want to lug around super heavy bike locks, but equally heavier locks are typically more secure. So if security is your priority, you will need to compromise somewhat with the lock's weight. The Via Velo Mini weighs in at 1.36 kilos or three pounds, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard is substantially heavier, weighing 1.84 kilos or 4.06 pounds. It is noticeably heavier to carry than the Via Velo Elite, but both locks come with a mounting system to help you carry them, and we'll take a look at these later on in the video. Comparing the internal shackle measurements, the Via Velo Elite offers slightly more locking space, measuring 23.3 centimeters long by 11.5 centimeters wide, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard is slightly smaller, measuring 20.7 centimeters long 
by 10.1 centimeters wide. When locking your bike with either of these, they're designed to secure to standard bike racks or thin poles. These don't fit around the chunkier bases of street lights that we have in the UK, but easily work with other street posts and poles and bicycle specific racks. The Via Velo uses a square shackle and each side is 12.97 millimeters long. The Kryptonite New York standard shackle is circular and has a diameter of 15.94 millimeters. So why the difference in shackle shapes? Well, a common flaw with lower quality bike locks is that when a single cut is made through the shackle, a thief can rotate the shackle open in the locking mechanism until your belonging can be removed. A square shackle inside a square locking lug won't rotate. This is what the Via Velo exploits for its anti-rotation performance. Kryptonite's lock also offers impressive anti-rotation features because the ends of the shackle are tapered slightly and sit inside a matching shape locking lug. The Via Velo Elite offers the Sold Secure Pedal Cycle Diamond rating, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard only offers the Gold rating, which is one level lower. For context here, the pedal cycle diamond rating means a lock is suitable for securing very high value bikes and e-bikes in high risk areas for longer periods of time. Whereas the gold rating means a lock provides protection for high value conventional push bikes in high risk areas. Having personally tested and destroyed many bike locks, I am slightly surprised that the New York standard only holds the gold rating. Maybe Kryptonite didn't submit it for testing at the diamond level, or maybe there's a vulnerability that I didn't manage to uncover in our testing. Who knows? The New York standard uses a disc detainer locking cylinder, whereas the Via Velo uses a slider cylinder. Both of these cylinders require a lot of practice and understanding to pick successfully. And in reality, thieves aren't picking locks on the street. Instead, they opt for brute force or power tool attacks, which require a single brain cell to carry out. The Via Velo Elite is supplied with four keys, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard only comes with three keys, but one is accompanied with an LED key fob, which is handy for operating the lock in the dark. Both sets of keys are coded and both brands offer a key replacement service should you require new keys to be cut. One really nice benefit that Via Velo offer their customers that Kryptonite lack is their Keyda-like system, which allows you to unlock all of your Via Velo products with a single key. This is a great feature for families who need to lock multiple bikes or if your bike requires maximum security and you decide to lock it with two locks. Kryptonite, on the other hand, don't offer key to like locks, so if you want to lock up with multiple Kryptonite locks, you have to carry multiple keys. Additionally, both of these locks are double bolted, meaning either side of the shackle is secured in place by a dead bolt system. The Via Velo shackle is secured in place by its quad locking mechanism, which provides additional resistance against rotation attacks, whereas the Kryptonite New York standard shackle is secured by two locking bolts. Neither system is preferable here, both achieving the same goal. As standard, both locks offer keyhole covers to prevent dirt from entering the locking mechanism. The Via Velos is automatic, whereas you'll need to remember to close the New York standards after locking up. When locking your bike with any bike lock, it's important to prioritize your bike's most valuable components. These are typically your rear wheel and frame, so secure these to a sturdy immovable object and throw in a cable extension to secure your front wheel especially if you use quick release axles. Also make sure to fill the lock shackle as much as possible when locking up, as this helps to prevent twist and hydraulic attacks. Price is always going to be a deciding factor with all of our purchases. And to be honest, both of these locks are reasonably priced considering the security they offer. The Via Velo Elite is launching to the US market in July and will retail for just under $100, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard retails at just above this. So in terms of price, there isn't a huge difference here. Both of these locks are manufactured in the Far East. The New York Standard is built in Taiwan and the Via Velo is built in China. The Kryptonite website contains the classic corporate ESG waffle and points to the Allegion website, Kryptonite's parent company, but it is very hard to tell which of Allegion's ESG achievements relate directly to Kryptonite. Via Velo are a substantially smaller company and don't reveal any of their sustainability goals if they have any. Unlike Kryptonite, Via Velo only use cardboard in their packaging, whereas Kryptonite use cardboard and plastic blister packaging. Both of these materials can be easily recycled, but plastic packaging for a bike lock is somewhat unnecessary now.
The Kryptonite New York Standard is provided with Kryptonite's flex frame mounting system, which has been upgraded over the years and does a good job of holding the lock still when riding, despite being slightly fiddly to mount in place. I don't currently have the mounting bracket that the Elite will be supplied with on launch, but the Via Velo team are working on this at the moment. Without a mount, I've found that the Elite can easily be carried in a bag and is fairly lightweight for a lock of its size, so it's not uncomfortable to carry. To summarize, both of these locks are great high security bike locks suitable for use in high risk areas. As already stated, the Via Velo Elite has the Pedal Cycle Diamond Sold Secure rating, whereas the Kryptonite New York Standard only earned the Gold rating. Both locks have their benefits. The Elite is more portable and offers more internal locking space, whereas the New York Standard has a thicker shackle and whilst neither lock was defeated during my bulk cutter test, the New York Standard hardly suffered a scratch whereas the Via Velo had a visible nick on either side of the shackle. If you do decide to purchase either of these locks, make sure to check your bike insurance policy to ensure that you're using a lock in line with your policy requirements. If you do have any questions regarding either of these locks, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you can find all of the key details down in the description below. Thanks for watching.